For certain screens, you may want to show the listing and details side by side. This pattern is called master detail. In this video, let me show how you can quickly build this in our systems. So we are looking at my service studio. I have a reactive web application that has an entity called customer with following attributes. I'm also behind the scenes bootstrap this with some sample data. Now you might know that with our systems, if you go to main flow and drag and drop this entity, you are able to quickly build the listing and detail screen. But in master and detail concept, that layout, you would want to have both listing and detail in the same page, same screen. So to achieve that, let me build a new screen. We can call it home. Let's give it a title, customers. And then on the widget side, look for a widget called master. So with our systems, you already have this widget available that can help you to create master and detail kind of layout. So in this case, on the left hand side, we will have the list of customers. And then on the right hand side, we will display the details of the customers. And then we'll link these two together. So whenever somebody is clicking on any of the customers, we refresh the customer details on the right hand side. So to achieve this, what we'll do is, first of all, populate the list on the left hand side by dragging and dropping the customer. Now with this drag and drop, I'm getting the entire list of customers with their attributes here. So a lot of information is there, but as typically listing is, and it's my uh, requirement in this case, let's just clean it up. Okay, let's have fewer information. So we want to display the name of the customer and from where it is. Now on the other hand, when somebody is clicking on the customer record here, we want to populate the list, uh, the detail of the customer. To achieve that, what we can do is create a local variable of type customer, make sure the type is of your entity in your project. Now in my case, this customer, I can display this here on the right hand side and we can do some beautification. Perhaps a section would be nice. So in this section, I can make the customer name as the title and then get rid of the label. We can use the help of widgetry. So get rid of this and then rest of the attributes that are coming also, I can put them, for example, in the content placeholder within the section okay now in case you don't like this layout you want to display label and value side by side you just have to reduce the width of these elements for example label six column and country six column and you can do this for the rest of uh, labels as well i guess you get the idea but you can modify the entire details that is there on the on the detail size it's just like any other screen right you can add more information to it in case you have database where you have combination of entities where customer information is stored you can display all of that here okay i hope you get the idea now the the last thing that i need to do is uh, the logic part which is when somebody is clicking on any of these customer records this side should get refreshed so for that what we'll do is select the first element here in the listing uh, you can also use the help of this status bar here where all the elements are put in a hierarchical order so I need to collect the first list item and on that list item I need to write a logic which would be a client action in my case because I'm getting the entire list of customers and all of their attributes in the main query itself what I need to do is just assign the value to the customer local variable which will now have the value upon when somebody clicks the value of the current record from the list and that's it but in your situation, you might have to fire another set of queries to your database in case your uh, data for customer details or likewise is stored in several other tables. So in that case, just fire another set of server actions, fetch the data and display uh, on the screen by assigning the value to your local variables. So let's go back. I think it should be okay. Uh, now one last thing is uh, when the page will load first time, uh, the there will be no, no record, no customer will be selected back then. So in that case, it's, I think UX wise, we should not display the detail here, otherwise all these labels will appear empty. To avoid the situation, what we can do is perhaps put the whole content or, or the card into an if, something like this, and close an if, and check the value of the customer ID, something like this. So if customer.id not equals to null, okay? So with, what this means is as long as it's null, this area will not be displayed okay so it's only will be displayed if uh, the customer id has some value in it uh, before i publish the application one last thing is making this home as my default screen and then publish the application 
So there was a quick example of how you can create master and detail kind of layout in your applications. Now I'm publishing the application. Let's see the outcome. Launch it. Okay. So first of all, uh, the if condition is working. I should have put the if on the whole card because I still see the border there. But I think you get the idea. So on the left hand side, we have the list of customers. And if I click on any of the customer record here, I can see the detail on the right hand side. And that's what we wanted to achieve. Thanks for watching.